Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to ay tuturo ko sa inyo ang mean, median, and mode for ungrouped data. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time ay tuturo ko naman sa inyo ang measures for central tendency of a given set of data. So, sabi, there are three statistics that are used to measure the center of a data set. These are the mode, the mean, and the median. Okay, so, ito yung tatlong measures of central tendency for sets of data in statistics, which are the mean, median, and mode. Okay? So, dito sa video na to, ang i-discuss ko lang is ungrouped data. Ibig sabihin, Sets of data lang na hindi nakaayos in tabular form. For example, hindi siya naka-frequency distribution table. So, parang given sets of data lang, then hanapan natin yung mean, median, and mode. Okay, pero bago natin hanapin yung mean, median, and mode, i-define muna natin sila at alamin natin yung mga formula na gagamitin para mahanap sila. So, magsimula tayo sa mode. So, sabi, yung mode daw is most frequently occurring value in the data set. So, yung mode yung pinakamadali lang hanapin kasi siya lang yung papansin ninyo dun sa dataset na pinakamaraming nag-appear. Okay? So, siya yung mode. Kapag mean naman, siya lang yung statistical name for arithmetic average. So, alam naman natin mag-average, di ba? So, yung formula is mean is equal to sum of all data values divided by the number of data values. So, given data sets, isasum up natin lahat yun. And then, i-divide natin yung nakuha nating sum na to doon sa number nung data sets kung ilan sila. Okay? Next, we have the median. Median is the middle value of an ordered data set. If there are n data values listed in order from smallest to largest, the median is n plus 1 over 2, yet data value. So, if n daw is add, the median order is exact. If n is even, get the mean of the two data centered by the median order. So, yung median, in other words, siya yung center ng data. So, dapat para makuha yung median, laging yung i-arrange from smallest to largest yung data. So, kaya sabi, order data set. Okay? So, kapag meron ka raw n data values, mahanap mo yung median using the formula n plus 1 over 2. So, ito yung order ng median doon sa data. So, hanapin mo doon sa arrange order data set kung ano yung data na meron ganitong order, yung n plus 1 over 2. So, Meron tayong two cases kasi kapag add, yung masasolve mong median is exacto rin. Kasi nga, ba pag add, inadan mo ng 1 is even. Tapos, i-divide to mo. Exact yung sagot, wala kang remainder. Unlike kapag even naman daw, so this time kapag even, hindi exact kasi nga, even yung data set value mo, tapos inadan mo ng 1, nagiging add. Tapos, divide to mo pa. So, laging may remainder, right? So, kapag ganun, hanapin mo raw yung mean nung dalawang data sets na pinagitnaan yung na-compute ng n plus 1 over 2 order. Okay? So, sige, para may illustrate natin yung concept at formula for mode, median, and mean of a given data sets is mag tayo ng examples. The number of the faulty products returned to an electrical goods store over 21-day period is 344-988-647-913-4-5-6-7-8-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-
So, dalawa lang. Okay, then, 7. 1, 2. Dalawa lang din. And then, 8. Ilan? 1, 2, 3. 3, right? So, 1, 2, 3. And then, last yung 9. Tatlo. 9, 9, 9. So, dapat total of 21 to. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay. So, ngayon, pwede na nating mahanap yung mean. Mean muna is add natin to lahat. So, add natin tong data set na to. Then, divide natin kung ilan sila. 21. Okay? So, using calculator, ilan to? 113. Then, divided by 21. Kasi 21 sila lahat, right? So, the mean is equal to 5 point. 38. Okay? Then, yung median. So, since 21 sila, siya yung n natin. So, diba yung formula is n plus 1 over 2. So, 21 plus 1 over 2 is 22 over 2 or 11. So, yung pang 11 data, mula dito sa pinakamababa ang ating median. So, bilangin natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, 5. So, siya yung center nung data natin. So, therefore, the median is 5. Okay? Tapos, yung mode, yung pinakamarami. Obviously, anong pinakamaraming data na nag-appear? Si 3, 4, si 4, tatlo. Si 8, tatlo, tsaka si 9, tatlo. So, therefore, 3. Kasi siya yung pinakamarami, right? So, the mode is 3. Okay. Next, we have, for the following math scores below, 10, 24, 12, 16, 24, 25, 11, 16, 18, 12, 24, 30, 15, 17, find the mean, median, and mode. Okay, so ganun pa rin. Arrange muna natin from lowest to highest. So, anong pinakamababang score? 11. So, isa lang, right? Next, 12. 1, 2. Dalawa. So, 12, 12. Next, 13 wala, 14 wala, 15 meron, ilan? Isa. Then, 16 meron, ilan? Dalawa. Okay. Then, next, 17, isa. 18, isa. 19 wala, 20 wala, 21 wala, 22 wala. 23, wala. 24, meron. 1, 2, 3. So, tatlo. 24, 24, 24. Then, 25, isa. Then, sino pang hindi? 30. Okay? Ay, sorry. May pinaka mas mababa pa pala sa 11, 10. Okay? So, therefore, ilan ba sila lahat? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So, dapat 14 din to. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. So, therefore, pwede nating mahanap yung mean. Sum up natin to over kung ilan sila. 14, right? So, using calculator, ilan yung sum ng data set. 200. 54. Then, divided by 14. Sa so, ilan yun? Ano yung mean natin? So, the mean is 18.14. Okay? Next, yung median naman. So, n plus 1 over 2. So, n natin is 14, right? 14 plus 1 over 2 or 15 divided by 2 or 7.5. So, bilangin natin kung alin yung pang 7.5 mula sa pinakamababa. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Kaso 7.5. So, ba kapag even yung n natin, isasum up natin yung pinagitnaan na data. Which is, ba 7 to tapos ito 8. So, therefore 7.5 to yung gitna nila. Mean natin. Or average. So, equal siya sa 16 plus 17 divided by 2 is... 16.5 So, siya si median Next, yung mode So, observe lang natin yung pinakamaraming data 12 dalawa 16 dalawa 24 Tatlo So, therefore, obviously 
yung mode is 24. Okay? Okay, so ganun lang maghanap ng mean, median, at mode for ungrouped data set. Okay? So, I think that's it for this video. So, sana may natutunan kayo sa video na ito at maraming salamat sa panunood.